So today I'm going to be giving a brief overview on a topic that's a little bit more advanced in jazz improvisation, and that's diminished vocabulary on the trombone. Now the cool thing about diminished vocab is that it can really spice up and color up your playing and your improvising. Although it's one of the hippest sounds known in jazz, it's also one of the hardest to achieve and get in your ear and get into your playing. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure you know all of your diminished scales. So there's four of them. In this video, I'm just going to use one of them, the one that contains the notes C and D flat. Now keep in mind that learning all four versions of that scale is going to take some time. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you know where to use these scales. Generally, you can use them on any dominant or diminished chord, although there are other places to use them. We won't discuss that here. Uh, for the scale that I ended up choosing with the C and D flat, here's one example of a dominant and a, one example of a diminished chord you can use them in. So here's a C7. You're going to want to get familiar with that sound. And here's a C sharp slash D flat diminished chord. Notice it sounds similar. Same scale. So the next step you can take is to find the major and minor triads in these diminished scales. For the scale that we're using, it's going to be C major, E flat major, G flat major, and A major. And in terms of minor triads, it's going to be C minor triad, E flat minor, G flat minor, and A minor. And here's what they sound like on a C7 chord. And it's the same triads for diminished. So the final thing I'll leave you all with is to look and listen for new shapes and play around with them. I'll give you an example with one of my favorite shapes over a C7 chord. Up a minor third. Up a minor third. I just resolved it there to an F major. Etc. Etc. You get the point. Make sure to keep your ears open at jam sessions, on gigs, uh, listening to jazz records, and while you're practicing, uh, just play around with some of these and really get familiar and comfortable with that sound. And most of all, don't forget to have fun. That's it for this week, everyone. If you found this video useful or interesting, please like it and share it and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any requests for future videos, please leave them down below in the comments. I'm going to try to get to as many as I can. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below as well. And until then, we'll see you all next time. Peace.